only a nightmare. Hey, why does this guy look so teed up? <laughs> oh man, just a nightmare. Which is strange, because usually I sleep like a log. <laughs> oh jeez, another nightmare? Well, this is definitely not a good night for me. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I'm in the movie Inception. You know, the box office smash hit. <laughs> Whew, it was only a nightmare. Hey there, Fruity Toots. Just waiting for the go ahead from Pear, then we can start. Okay, I looked everywhere and there isn't one single stick of TNT anywhere in the kitchen. You can go ahead and start the episode. Thanks, Pear. Dynamite work, as always. <laughs> hey, Orange, everywhere you look, TNT will appear. Yo, what you talking about? There's no TNT in here. Pear just checked. See, no TNT over there. Wow. Dude, stop looking around. <laughs> Close your eyes, Orange. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. No TNT if I can't see it. <laughs> Is that TNT underneath your eyelid? <laughs> make it stop, Pear. Make it stop. Okay, okay, open your eyes. <laughs> Pear, it was horrible. I know, dude, but it's over now. Wait. No. Time for S Orange. Drop 10 million Pokeballs on Pear. Huh? Oh, no! No! Oh, no more! Sorry, Pear. Gotta drop a ball. <laughs> hey, Orange. Whoever says hi to you, they become you. Hi, Orange. Uh, uh, whoa. Um, little apple? You okay there? You look kind of funny. Well, honestly. Oh, I feel kind of funny too! <laughs> huh, is this really what I'm like? <laughs> I'm even funnier than I thought I was! <laughs> Say you like passion! Okay, you like passion! <laughs> Drop 100 decillion of yourself on pair! A decillion? How many is that? Well, it says here it's a really, really big number! It's a one with 33 zeros after it! Nice! Now that's what I call edutainment. <laughs> um, dude, I think that's just educational. For it to be edutainment, there has to be some aspect of it that's entertaining for the audience. <laughs> Foxy is after you. He is? Ah, where? Where? I don't see him. Ah, uh, hello? Next question, please. The fans are right, dude. Nothing's happening. We should move on. Uh, okay. I guess you're right. It looks like Foxy isn't coming after all. On to the next question. Hey, Orange, can you call Pear's girlfriend? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a good one. <laughs> Very sly, Foxy. <laughs> Say hello to Dennis and Darius. Hello, Dennis and Darius. Orange is very funny. Why, thank you, Joyce. And you are very smart. <laughs> I just realized that Orange doesn't laugh like ha ha ha. He laughs like wha 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 ha. Huh? Pear, is that true? Do I laugh like wha 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 wha? Yeah, kinda. I think that's fair to say. Oh man, I'm suddenly really self conscious about laughing. <laughs> oh no. Pear, I think I forgot how to laugh. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You know how to. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> You're right. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> hey, Orange, you are perfectly safe. Phew, that's a relief. No, safe. Huh? Ah! Orange! Orange, are you in there? Orange! <laughs> Drop 10 million gallons of cola on pear. What? No! Orange, I thought it was gonna be 10 million gallons. Oh, it is. It's just being dropped very slowly. Oh, well, this is actually kind of nice. See, we're not always mean to pair and ask Orange episodes. Oh. <laughs> hey, Orange, the next time Pear has a nightmare, say, did you have a night pair? Pear, here, take this pillow and pajamas. Also, this chamomile tea. What? Why? You gotta go to sleep. You just gotta. Now? Dude, it's the middle of the afternoon. Don't ask questions, Pear. The audience gave me something really, really funny to say to you. I need this, okay? No. Yes. No. Yes. Next question, please. 
<sighs> yeah, you're right. He's not playing along. On to the next question, I guess. What did the grape say to the... <laughs> oh, dude, all these foxy jump scares are going to give me nightmares. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Every time someone blinks, Baldy will spank you. Well, I'm certainly not blinking. Me neither. Um, I think I got to close my eyes. Hold strong, Orange. Whatever you do, don't blink. No, it's not that. TNT is appearing everywhere I look again. Oh my gosh, this is super dangerous. What do we do? Uh, we're screwed either way. I guess close your eyes, Orange. See what happens. Oh my gosh, it worked. There's no sign of Baldy at all. He's spanking all of us. Ah! Wait, oh no, he's spanking the TNT. Ah! No! All right. Uh, today's gonna be fire. I can feel it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It was just a dream? Dino fight. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Am I glad I woke up from that? And that's no lie. I'm a real boy. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Jeez. What's with all these recurring nightmares? Well, I feel like I'm really on the chopping block. <laughs> oh, oh, bring it on, nightmares. I'm ready for you. I'm wrapped up. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I did it. I survived all the dreams. I'm Pear. And I'm Orange. And it's time for another installment of How To. Today the audience wants to know how to get rid of your nightmares. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear you're having nightmares. Maybe this will help. Dude, how is that supposed to help someone who's having nightmares? I was just trying to scare the nightmares away so they wouldn't come back. <laughs> uh, all right, just leave this one to me. First, it may be helpful to think of pleasant things before you fall asleep. To help, we've brought the kitchen's resident happy person, Marshmallow. Yay! No! <laughs> or happy tadpoles! Or happy TNT sticks! Orange! Or happy fluffy clouds! Or happy ghosts! Hey! Uh, all right, well, those are kind of cute. I'll allow it. You hear that, ghosts? Hair allows it! Yay! <laughs> ah, okay, no! I take it back! Make it stop! <laughs> They're just ghosts, Pear. They can't do anything to you in your mind. Uh, I guess you're right. But Freddy Krueger sure can. What? Hello, Pear. Ah! Ah, dude, I was talking about Freddy Krueger supposed to help people get rid of their nightmares. Uh, Pear, what? I can't sleep. See? Look what you did. You went and scared Marshmallow. Aw, I'm sorry. What is it, Marshy? What's keeping you away? I, I can't decide whether to count fluffy white bunnies or fluffy white kittens, and it's driving me bonkers. Okay, this is good. We're in Marshmallow's frame of mind now. We've got a positive vibe going on. Now let's talk about eating. To avoid having nightmares, sometimes it's best if you don't eat before bed. Oh no, but I always eat cotton candy before bed. Oh, uh, what the, what's happening? Ah, Freddy Krueger's are taking over. We've got to fight back. With what? Well, all I have is this TNT. Dude, why are you hitting Freddy's with the TNT like it's a stick or something? What do you mean? How else would I use it? Obviously, you light it so it blows up. Whoa, what a great idea. Thanks for the suggestion, Pear. Glad you thought of it. Fruit lovers, a while back I did a Draw My Life episode, but today I want to tell you about the spookiest, scariest dream I've ever had. It's pretty weird, but then again, what dream is it? So get ready for a glimpse into the mind inside the ride, because this is the Annoying Oranges Draw My Nightmare. <laughs> it was nighttime, lightning crashed, rain poured. I was standing in the middle of a really tall bridge, and I had to make a terrible choice. 
See, I wasn't just standing in the middle of a bridge. I was standing in the middle of a booby trap set by the Joker. <laughs> On one end of the bridge, Passion was tied up and dangling over a pit of knives. There was a candle slowly burning through a rope, and once a rope snapped, she'd be a total goner. Now, way on the other end of the bridge, Pear was tied up and dangling over a vat filled with sharks. As soon as his rope burned all the way through, he'd fall into the shark vat, and all those innocent sharks would probably die from boredom after talking to him for a while. Huh? The Joker told me I could only save one, and I had to choose now. Now, okay, I'll admit, I started moving in the direction of passion. I mean, I flinched, okay? I literally moved one muscle. But that doesn't mean I'm in love with her, okay? It doesn't. <laughs> anyway, the moment I moved, the Joker started laughing. <laughs> the holograms of Passion and Pear both vanished. Yeah, turns out they were both holograms this whole time. Then the Joker pushed a button and blew the bridge right out from under me and said I'd totally fallen for it. <laughs> And it turns out it was actually a pretty good pun, because without a bridge under me, I started falling. And I fell for a long time. And here's the worst part. I fell past a bunch of people I recognized and they all made fun of me for being in love with passion, which I'm not, by the way. But I didn't have time to explain it to them because I was falling way too fast. But here's where it gets really weird. A lot of them were in their underwear. And that's when I looked down and realized I was in my underwear, which made no sense. Because the only time I ever wear underwear is when I'm dreaming. And that's when I realized I was in a nightmare. I started looking forward to hitting the ground because you always wake up right before you hit the ground, you know? So I kept waiting to hit the ground and I kept waiting. And finally, I realized I was traveling through a tube that went all the way through the center of the earth. There was no bottom. And to make matters worse, as I passed through the middle of the Earth's core, I got blasted with radiation from all sides. I started to mutate and grow extra eyeballs on my butt. Well, I thought it was actually kind of cool at first, but I'd soon regret having all those eyeballs when I finally popped out on the other side of the world in China. That's cause like every scary person ever was there to jump scare me as soon as I came out of the tube. Freddy was there, Slender Man, Bendy, Bobby, my sixth grade English teacher, we're talking scary people. And I had enough eyeballs to get jump scared by all of them at once. So many jump scares at once deserve more than one scream. And fortunately, I had mutated a few extra mouths by this point, so I was able to scream out of all of them. Yeah. Anyway, me and all my extra eyes and mouths fell back down into the tube and started falling back towards the other side of the world, which I was actually pretty excited about because this time when I passed by all those people telling me I love passion, I had enough mouths to explain the truth. But the scariest part of the nightmare hadn't happened yet. As I was passing back through the center of the earth, I ran smack dab into a herd of dancing hippos. Ooh, these guys were everywhere and they were plugging up the whole tube. I couldn't get by, they surrounded me. Everywhere I looked, there was a dancing hippo. And that's a lot of places to look because I had so many eyeballs by this point. But to pass the time, I decided to see if I could touch all my tongues to all my eyeballs. But that was a bad idea because I just wound up licking a bunch of hippo butts by accident. <laughs> On the plus side, I did wake up at this point because my tongue had finally touched the bottom. <laughs> Talk about the end, am I right? <laughs> okay, okay, see you next time. And just remember, I do not have passion, okay? I don't! <laughs>